Hi, this is Marloom's Creations, and today I'm going to show you how to create Baby Mumble on your Rainbow Loom from the movie Happy Feet. For today, you're going to need just a single loom set up in the staggered configuration, and you're going to need three colors. You're going to need black, white, and a light gray or dark gray. For the black, you're going to need about 35 black bands, about 24 white, and you're going to need 69 gray bands. For the eyes, Mumble has blue eyes. I use two blue bands. You're going to need two blue. And if you don't have pony beads, this is what I used in this um, creation, then that's okay. This is what yours is going to look like for a band with a nose and I mean a nose with a band and the eyes. So this is the one with the bead and this is the one with bands and it looks just as cute and you can barely tell that these are bands for the nose and for the eyes so don't worry I will show you how to do that so again it's 34 black bands 24 white 69 gray 2 blue bands and 2 um, for the nose it's one bead if you're using a bead and if you're not if it's a band then you're using two orange bands so gather your supplies and then when we return we will begin to make mumble. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to make mumble's wings. So gather your gray bands and you're going to take a single gray and you're going to place it on these three pegs right here. That's just the single band. And then gather two bands and place it on those two pegs and then on these two. And the same on this side, two and two. Then gather another two and place it on these three like a V. Gather a single, wrap it around itself and place it on these three. And then take another single and place it on this peg four times. So that's one wing and we can do the other one together again. Place it on three bands. It doesn't make sure they're not connected. So place it on these three. And then take two more and place it on these two. And these two. This side and this side and then another two and place it on these three like a V grab another single wrap it around itself and place it on these three then another single and tie it around this peg four times then take your hook and reach in where the cap band is and there's two bands here. You're just going to grab one of the bands and place it on the left or the right peg. It doesn't matter. Reach in and grab the other and place it on the other peg. Then reach in here, grab the bottom two, loop that forward. Same here. Reach in and loop forward. Reach here, push the triangle band back, grab the bottom two, loop forward. And the same here and loop forward and then bring these two to the middle and now we're going to do this one again reach in where the cap band is grab one of the bands on the bottom and bring it to the left or to the right reach in grab the other and bring it to the other side pull these bands forward and these bands forward then reach where the cap band is, I mean the triangle push it back, grab the bottom two, loop forward same here, push back, grab the bottom two bands, loop forward and then you have these two bands and you're going to just loop that to the middle and then if you have a spare hook you can place 
these on there because if you take them off and put them to the side, they will fall apart. So they do need to be placed on a hook. So you take them off. And then this pair. And there is your wings. And then you place that to the side. And the you can do the feet now. It doesn't matter. You have a choice to either do it on your hook and or you can do it on the loom. So you can either take two bands and go down using two at a time, make six pairs of those, and then cap each one. So you can do it like this and then take a single band and wrap it around four times if this is easier for you. So I took a single and I wrapped it around one, two, three, four. And the same here. Or you can do it by um, doing it on the hook. So you can take the single band and wrap it around four times around your hook and then you can just grab two bands and slide the doubled or not on there. So whatever one you like the best. Once you've done six of these, you should do one, two, three, and then three more. Then you're going to loop them and then we can make the feet. So there's six all together and make sure you Wrap the band around four times. So now we're going to loop that. You just reach in where the cap band is and you bring the bottom two bands forward. And just do that for each one. And if it rips on you, the cat band, then you can just grab another and tie it around again. And then once you've done that, you are going to remove three of them and remove it slowly so it doesn't tear. So we have all three. And then you're going to grab two bands. Once you have just three on your hook, and see how they look a little mangled? That's why I like to make them um, by the hook. I do them on the hook because I feel like they come out a little neater. So once you've done that, you take two more bands and you slide all three sets onto, that, onto those two bands. And you place your hook through the other loop and that is one of Mumble's feet. And the same on this one. You can take one, take them off, grab two more bands, and just adjust the little um, band that we wrapped around four times in the middle. I guess it's supposed to be his like toe, so it looks neater. And then slip them, slide them onto that doubled over band. Take your hook and grab the other loop. And that is the other set of Mumble's feet. So you have the wings and the feet. So now we can actually start to create Mumble. So the first thing is you're going to grab your black bands and you're going to take two at a time and place two here and here. And then go down two times on both sides and in the middle you go down three times with the black
and then you switch to your white bands and you place one here and one here then you turn in and turn in and the final one is in the middle so using the white bands you're going to create the neck so you place two bands on these two pegs and then you create the left and the right shoulder now this part is optional you can either on the next step place white white and white and that will create this look right here because in the movie happy feet mumble does have a patch of white here or you can just leave it and then the rest of the pants will be <coughs> all gray for you so if you want this patch of white you're going to put one here two here two here two here and everything else will be gray if not then just follow the step that I'm going to do now I'm just going to make him without the white patch. So now I'm just going to switch to my gray bands and again if you're using the white you're going to put white, white, and white here. So switch to your gray bands if you're not and just place one there and go down four times And if you did place a white over here, you're still just going down four times. You would have a white followed by gray, gray, gray. So it's okay. It's, you still should just have four going down. So four bands on this side. And four on this side. And then in the middle, I'm going to place a gray here. And if you have a white there, it's okay. Then you're going to place another gray. You're going to go down four times in the middle as well. So this is what yours should look like so far. You should have four grays going down. And if you chose white, then it's okay. You would have white on these three and the rest are gray. Take two more gray bands and you are going to take from this middle peg and place two on this, on the diagonal and then on these two. Now we're going to place the extension on the outside and that's just going to be all gray and you're going to overlap the bands that are over here so push these bands down and grab two bands and place them on these two pegs right here and then place two more here two here and two here so we have the bottom row and then we create an, another row on top and we're going to do the same thing on this side two two bands and make sure you place them nice and neat because then when you loop them you don't want them to look funny two more and two more so once you have placed the last two, this should be four, you're going to take a single and take on this peg, you're going to wrap it around only three times. And then this one as well, only three. So you wrapped a single band on this peg and this peg three times. Now grab another single 
and place the triangle band on those on those pegs so you're not putting anything on these three and then on these three and on these three and nothing on the top three nothing on the bottom and now push everything down and then grab your hook because we are going to loop now and you're going to reach in where you wrap the band around only three times so this is the three bands and you're going to grab the very next set of bands the top two and you're going to loop that forward and then you're going to reach in here push back that triangle band and grab the top two bands and loop forward the same thing in here always pushing back the triangle band only grabbing the top two and loop forward and the same here just the top two and loop forward so we have loop very top row and we have not touched the bottom and we're going to do the same on this side you're going to push the triangle I mean the cap band back just grabbing the top two and loop that forward push the triangle band back grab the top two gray loop forward the same here and make sure you're just only grabbing the top two and then finally the last set so once you have looped this side and this side we're going to um, pull it off and bring it to the side of our loom so I like to take my thumb and just put my thumb on this peg so that it doesn't pop off and then I take my finger and I snap that up and to the side and then you don't want to remove this these bands right here and these bands these stay on the pegs so we pop this off and place it on the outside and this is what yours should look like like this and you want to make sure that these bands the triangle bands look like a triangle on the top and a straight line on the bottom if it looks like this it's incorrect you want to just make sure that those lines look like triangle bands so now let's do this side just hold on here so it doesn't fall off pop this up and to the side and hold on this peg right here so it doesn't pop off pop this up and to the side so all we have done is remove this this layer and place it on the outside so now we can add mumble's feet and his wings so let's add the feet and make sure you're grabbing four bands and you're going to place it on this very peg right here. And then the other one goes here. And then take the, the wing has three bands, one, two, three. You want to make sure you have all three. So I like to just use my finger to make sure that I have all three and then you just place it on that hook I mean that band, um, peg right there and the same on this one grabbing all three and place it on this peg and the wing looks funny right now but um, what I do is I take my hook and I just go through the cap bands and I pull up and then it fixes it and gives it that uh, point to your look but we can fix that in the end so now we are going to add his nose and his eyes first thing is let's add a triangle band on his face on these three pegs right here and then we are going to add his eyes and nose so if you don't have beads then I'm going to show you what to do for the eyes so I'm going to first show you what to do if you are using bands for the eyes and nose. So for the nose, you're going to grab an orange band, and this is neon. I like it because it matches the pony bead. And you're going to wrap it around your hook four times. And then you're going to grab another single um, orange band and wrap it around itself. So this one was wrapped four times. This one's wrapped around itself and you're going to take these bands and transfer them onto the doubled over band and then slide it to the middle 
take your hook and grab that other loop. So that is your nose. And then you're going to take this and grab a white band and you're going to transfer, slide the white band through the orange. And once you have done that, it should look like this. You're going to take this and place it on these two pegs right here. And that is your nose. And it's going to straighten out when we loop him. Right now it's all twisting, but when we loop, it's going to, it's going to look better. Then for the eyes, you're going to grab a black band and wrap it around your hook four times. So that's one eye and you're going to take a blue band and try to make sure that the band that you're using that's blue is pretty bright that you can see it popping out with the black color. It just looks nicer. If it's dark it kind of blends in. So here's the blue band and transfer the black bands onto that single blue band. And then that is one eye. And once you have that on your hook like that you're going to hold on to this loop with your finger, take this loop and twist it so it's like an X, put the hook through it, then take this loop, put it on your hook. So now we took the loop, it's on our hook, twist, twist it, and put the hook through it again. And this is what yours should look like. You just adjust the black and that, that's the eye. So now we're going to do that again. Take a black band and wrap it around your hook twice and then you can grab both and twist it around so that's four times. And then take a single blue and pull those onto that blue band. And while the loop is still on your hook you twist a blue, take your hook and go through it. So now that's wrapped around twice. Then take this loop, put it on your hook, twist it around, and put it back on. And that is the other set of eyes that will go like that. And then you are going to grab a black band and transfer all of this on this single black band. So you're going to take, and what I do is I just grab two at a time. So that's two and two, and now I have both eyes. I mean one set of eyes on my single black band Then I grab the other two blue bands and the other two and both sets are now on my single band and I place that on these two pegs right here and I separate the eyes and then once they are separated you're going to take your hook and open the band right here in the middle and one of the bands go above. So one band goes above this peg and the other one rests underneath it. That is going to be what your mumble is going to look like with bands for nose and for eyes. And he's going to look like that and he's pretty cute. But for today I'm going to be using um, the pony bead. So I'm going to remove this. And for the pony bead it's quite simple. I just take a white band and I slide it through my small pony bead and I place the nose on these two right here and for the eye it's a little different you take the blue band and you do slide it through the small pony beads and then we do the same thing that we did when we use the bands so it doesn't it's the same thing so we take the loop and we twist it, go through, and take this one and wrap it around. Again, take the loop, twist, go through, take this one, wrap it around. And that's both sets of the eyes, and then you grab a black band, and again, same concept, transfer two at a time. You just want to transfer them slowly so that the eyes don't get all tangled and pull it on and then do this one
And now we have the eyes. And then you're going to place it on these two pegs, the way we did, the way we did with the bands. And then just separate them, same thing. And then open this space right here. And place one band above and one below. And that is how you make the eyes and the nose. And now we are ready to loop our baby mumble because this is what he looks like when he's a baby. So you take your hook and you're going to reach in where his feet are and you're going to push back all the black bands and you're also going to push back these extensions right here. This is the extension. So you don't want this and you don't want these. So I'm going to show you. You're going to push back the black and the extension and what you're aiming for is this middle I'll show you the middle band right here. We're grabbing these bands and then we're going to place it on this peg. So I'm going to reach in and I'm pushing the black and the extension back and I don't want the bottom row. I want these right here. I don't know if you can see. It's like a middle row and I'm going to pull that and bring it to the middle. So this should be the extension left over and then the bottom row and that's how you know you did it correctly and let's do this side again same thing we don't want the extension we are not grabbing the extension and we are not grabbing the bottom bands we're grabbing the middle set right here there's a middle set and that's the part that we're getting so let's see if I can do it with on a side angle so I'm pushing the extension back. And I'm just going to grab the middle bands and place it on the peg in the middle. So that's probably the most annoying part of this project. Everything else is easy. Once you have placed these bands to the middle on both sides. You're going to re-enter each peg and again push the extension back. You don't want that. And you're grabbing just the bottom gray bands right here, the bottom ones. And you're going to bring them up and loop it to the peg above. Again, we have these bottom bands right here and those are the ones that we're grabbing. So we're going to reach in, grab the bottom two, and loop that forward. The rest is pretty easy. So now reach in here and push back every band and just grab the bottom two and loop forward. Reach in here and you're going to always push back that triangle band. Grab the bottom two, loop forward. Same here. Push back, grab bottom two, loop forward. Grab the middle and loop forward. Push back the triangle and loop forward, loop the middle, again pushing that triangle band back always and loop. So we did all these, make sure it looks like a teardrop for you. So now we're on to this one, push back and loop to the wing, loop the middle and this other wing, pushing this back. Now you're going to reach in here and you're going to push all the bands back and just grab the bottom two white bands and loop to the middle and grab these and loop to the middle. Now reach in where the neck is, push every band back and just grab the bottom two and bring it to this peg right here. So, so far we have looped the entire body and now we're up to the face. You're going to take the first two bands, the first two right here, and mine are being pulled forward. And then you're going to reach in and grab the other two. So these are the next set for me. And mine are going to there and there. Okay. So now I'm going to reach in here and there's that little 
triangle band, you're going to push this back, grab the bottom two, and loop forward. Again, reach in here, just grab the bottom two, and loop forward. Reach in the middle, and loop forward. And don't worry if you have um, the, the band instead of the bead, we can just pop it through in the end. So now here's that white band. You're pushing that nose band back and grabbing the two black and looping it forward. Reach here, grab the two black, loop forward. Again, pushing that white band back, grabbing the black, and loop forward. And there's that little invisible eye band right here. Make sure you push that back, grab the two black bands, and loop forward. Again, here is a little black band, that's the eye band. Push back, grab the bottom two, and loop forward. Reach in here, and there is another eye band here. Push that back, grab the bottom two, and loop forward. So now we just have these two to bring to the middle. Reach in, grab these two, bring to the middle, grab these two, and bring to the middle. Now grab two more black bands. And take your hook and go through all the bands. Grab two bands and pull it through to the top. Place both loops on your hook and take the first loop, bring it over the other, and you create a slip knot. And you pull, not too tight. If while you're pulling the bands snap, you can just remove them, like pulling them hard, and then do that step over. So now I'm going to remove my penguin off of the loom, but I'm going to do it slowly so that it doesn't stretch. And we just have to fix the wings when we place, when we take them off the loom, we just have to adjust something with the wings. So this is what he looks like. It looks a little weird, but you're going to pop the eye through. Same thing if you have the bands. Pop the nose through. Pull on the face a little to adjust it. Grab the nose and pull it through. And then for the wings, he needs his wing needs to go through these two bands right here. The first set of arm bands. Pull on it, not too hard to stretch it, and put his wing through it. And the same on this side. He has the back the back set and then these two right here. Put the wing through it. And then just pull. And the wing doesn't look quite pointy, so what I do is I take my hook and I put it through. I put it through the cap bands and I pull on it until it's at the tip, and then I pinch it. And see now that's pointy, unlike this one. Again, take your hook and go through all the cap bands, pull on it. And then now it's nice and pointy. And for the hair, you have a choice to just use that band as a slip knot or a charm. But I like to cut it, so I cut it. And it gives him the little crazy feathers. And so this is how you create your baby mumble on your loom. And I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching.